Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hidayatullah from Faro Degree College. Yesterday we have discussed figurative language ya or we say figures of speech, simile, metaphor and personification. In this lecture we will discuss metonymy and synecdoche. How it is pronounced is synecdoche. In a synecdoche and metonymy, they are often confused. But there are many differences between metonymy and synecdoche. We will discuss this. The, diff the main difference between metonymy and synecdoche. First, we will talk about metonymy. Metonymy, when someone say something, but when they really refer to it through a concept related to it. In a simple word, metonymy is a concept when we refer to something. For example, it is the duty of the crown to fasten unity within the community. Now, the crown here stands for influence of power rather than the real crown we use on head. One thing between metonymy and synecdoche is that, that metonymy when we refer to something through a concept, it is not just a permanent part of that thing. But synecdoche is must a permanent part of it. That is the simple difference between. This is not a permanent part, but this one is a permanent part. When, we ref when someone refers a component or part of something, when they really intend to mean the whole, or when they really to refer to it, and really it they mean a part of it. This is synecdoche. For example, if someone say, check out my new wheels, here wheels is a permanent part of a car and we refer to a car through the wheels. So wheels here is a synecdoche but if we come to metonymy, crown is not a permanent part of a queen or king. That is the main difference between metonymy and synecdoche. And this lecture is on page number 244 in a second year English book. You may check it 244. A lot of examples are there based on metonymy in synecdoche. But remember one thing that in a, that a synecdoche is a permanent part of that thing. And this is a concept we just refer to it that is not a permanent part of it. We will discuss hyperbole and other figures of speech in upcoming lecture. Thank you for watching me.